Isabel looked at her watch. She had imagined that they would have plenty of opportunity to talk before the lawyer arrived, but the type seemed to have disappeared. There was a lot she wanted to discuss with Duncan, but now there was only half an hour before they would be joined by the lawyer. There would be discussion of the recovery of the painting, proposals, no doubt, and figures. She was struck by the naked effrontery of it, an effrontery that was there, she supposed, in all deliberate crime. By his acts, the criminal effectively said to the victim, You don't matter. And that, Isabel thought, was the most fundamentally wrong of all attitudes, whether it lay behind acts of great cruelty or the mundane crime of bag-snatching. You don't matter. How could anybody look another person in the eye and say that? Quite easily, it seemed. And there were enough instances of it every day, every moment of every day, in just about every context of human life.